soup. I've got right here from the crappie. These are all the bones that have been washed. I've got one large sweet onion, some celery, carrots, cilantro, lime, crushed garlic, and one jalapeno diced. About half a stick of butter, which is the equivalent of four tablespoons. In the hot pan, go ahead and add your Half stick of butter, melt it down. Once your butter is melted, then you're gonna go ahead and add your onions. Man, that smells really good. Once the onions start to get soft, then you're gonna go ahead and add your carrots and then the crushed garlic. crushed garlic. Just let those heat up for a little bit. Alright, now that the carrots have been in there and starting to get soft, let's go ahead and add the celery. The jalapeno. And then let's soften that up just a little bit. Now that everything is soft, we're going to go ahead and add four cups of water. There's one, two, this is a two cup measure cup, so the two that I put in there is a total of four. Didn't want to confuse anybody. Now let's go ahead and add the cilantro. Stir that around, and then we'll add all the fish bones. This is the rib meat right here. All of this was just filleted minutes ago, so it doesn't get any fresh than that. We're going to bring this to a boil, and then cut back the heat, let it simmer for about 40 minutes just so that all of the uh, ingredients can go ahead and blend together. Add two teaspoons of sea salt. Stir. Now that it's at a boil, we're going to go ahead and stir it one last time and then lower the heat and let it simmer. No need to worry if the bones all come apart. We're gonna strain this after it's done cooking. What we're doing is just cooking all of this together right now so that we can have a good tasting fish broth. The fish soup has been cooking now for 35 minutes and I'm gonna test the carrot to see if it's nice and soft. Uh, it's still a little bit hard. I'm gonna go ahead and let it simmer for maybe 10 more minutes and hopefully them carrots are going to soften up. 10 minutes have went by and the carrots are now super soft so oh, oh yeah that's ready. It's time to go ahead and cut off the heat and we'll go ahead and strain all of this from the fish broth and then transfer it over into the little stock pot where we'll keep the fish broth warm and add some more carrots, celery, and cilantro and then the fish fillets will poach inside that for roughly five minutes so let's get started and just nice and slow you can see the bones yeah you can definitely see the bones that's what we're trying to get rid of 
if I had cheesecloth, that's what I would have put all the uh, fish bones in in order to save this step right here. Okay, and that's pretty much about it. We've got our broth right there, separated from all the bones and the fish meat. I guess if you were straight up gangster, you could go ahead and just take your chances and eat soup with that fish meat. So there you go. This is the the broth from the fish soup, and we're gonna go ahead and add it to the stock pot. There we go. There are no bones in this whatsoever, so we don't have to worry about choking on something. <laughs> Turn the heat back on, just to warm up the soup. Now that we've got a good simmer going, we can add the crappie fillets and the heat from the broth will go ahead and poach them. Just place them in there. You don't want to stir at this point. You just want to let them get in there and then they're already cooking. You can see that the fillet is starting to turn white. So it's going to cool down the broth depending on how many fillets you've got, but that simmer will uh, come back up again and then cook all the crappie fillets. Again, do not stir because then the meat is going to definitely fall apart. If you don't like uh, spicy food, you can leave out the jalapeno. Let's go ahead and push these fillets down so that they're completely submerged in the broth and let them poach. We'll give it about five or ten minutes. Mm -hmm and then they'll be done. That's it, fish soup is done. It's been simmering for 10 minutes. You can tell that the crappie fillets are completely and thoroughly cooked. The broth has set into each fillet and it is ready to eat. Let's go ahead and serve it now. And garnish with a little bit of lime. Get that on there. There we go. Two sprigs of cilantro. Dinner is served tender crappie fillets in a very, very savory broth. Jalapeno gives it just a kick and then the lime just sets it off. It's delicious. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you got any fish fillets, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. As long as it's fresh, you can make this simple soup on a cold day like today. This soup is just perfect. Oh man, that is so delicious. Super fresh, super good. Till next time, tight lines.